Since ancient times, Chinese people have been planting, picking, making, and drinking tea. In late November, China's traditional tea making has been added to the UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage list. Tea is ubiquitous in Chinese people's daily life. Steeped or boiled tea is served in families, workplaces, tea houses, restaurants, and temples, to name a few. There are over 2,000 tea products in China, including reprocessed teas, such as flower-scented ones. Jasmine tea is tea scented with jasmine blossoms which bring it to slight sweetness and fragrance. Following the scent of jasmine, I've come to a time-honored tea brand here in Beijing. The brand's jasmine tea scenting technique has been listed as one of the national level intangible cultural heritages. The manufacturing process of jasmine tea mainly includes preparing tea base, selecting flowers, scenting and blending, heat dissipation, separating flowers from tea leaves, baking, packaging, and so on. Jasmine tea is currently the most widely known scented tea, with the biggest output, most consumers, and the most complete industry system in China. In their leisure time, many Beijingers love nothing more than to go to tea houses and indulge in their favorite drink and Chinese traditional culture. This establishment, Ahmed, is one of the best known tea houses in Beijing. It's named after Chinese novelist and dramatist Lao Shu and his famous drama, Tea House. Since it opened 34 years ago, this tea house has received around 8 million visits. Tea houses have become part of the life and fabric of the capital. Lao Shu Tea House is the first tea house in China to be created in the first tea house, and it is the first tea house in the first tea house in China. The founder of the tea house is my father. He is a local Beijing man. He is very fond of tea. This is also the first courtyard tea house in Beijing with nine rooms of distinctive styles. Here at the Laoshe Tea House, you can drink the best teas in the country and taste delicious traditional Beijing style snacks. Most importantly, Visitors can enjoy all kinds of traditional performance art, including Peking opera, face changing of Sichuan, hand shadow play, among others. As a traditional tea house, I think it's more than just the traditional tea house. 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 It's more than just the tea house. 又有商业输出，又有传统文化的产品，把它融合在一起。Nowadays, many new Chinese-style tea houses have popped up across China, which have been gaining popularity among the young people. Driven by curiosity, I headed to one tea house of this kind in Beijing, which is located deep in the traditional Hutong alleyway. Uh,昨天呢开了今年刚好刚刚好是三家多一点。茶头餐呢，我们包括呃一罐茶叶啊，一罐茶点啊，还有一份干果，会有时候会送水果。我们茶铺呢根据市场的商务需求，我们制定相
重新定位设计的产品。They have a lot of different varieties for you to choose from, and I picked the rose-flavored black tea. Forty-one-year-old John has been engaged in the tea industry for sixteen years. He's very optimistic about the booming tea industry in China. We can see that our tea industry has grown so much. The people are not only satisfied with the quality of the tea, but also with the physical needs of the consumer. 在我们这个活动的茶馆里，可以满足茶客的精神文化方面的需求。茶馆越来越多，我觉得是符合现在，呃，国家发展、繁荣富强，哎、呃，老百姓生活幸福的这么一个重要的一个表现。中国是茶叶的发源地，也是目前全球第一产茶国和第一消费国。中国传统制茶技艺及习俗是珍贵的。中国制茶技艺的多样性以及发展经验，有助于促进、减少贫困和实现可持续发展。With traditional tea making listed as the UNESCO Cultural Heritage, many are hoping that China's tea making traditions will be better preserved and tea culture carry forward. 非遗的工作是一个文化的传承工作，同时也是文化的创新工作。中国的非遗，目前联合国教科文组织人类非遗代表作的名册名录啊，要居于世界第一。我想这是让世界了解中国的一个重要方式。非遗，它是人类共享的，是中国的世界的贡献，让世界的文化更加丰富多彩。